Exodus chapter 38. He crafted the altar for burnt offerings using shittim wood. It measured five cubits in both length and breadth, forming a square, with a height of three cubits. Horns were fashioned on its four corners, made from the same wood, and then covered with brass. The altar's tools and utensils, including pots, shovels, basins, flesh hooks, and fire pans, were all made from brass. A brass grate in a mesh pattern was made for the altar, positioned below it and extending to its center. Four brass rings were cast and placed on its corners to hold the carrying poles. The poles were constructed from shittim wood, coated with brass, and inserted into the rings at the sides of the altar for transportation. The altar was hollow, made using wooden boards. Additionally, a laver of brass was created, along with its brass base, using the mirrors contributed by the assembling women at the entrance of the tabernacle. A courtyard was established with hangings made of fine twined linen, extending a hundred cubits on the southern side. There were twenty pillars, each with a brass base, and their hooks and bands were silver. The northern side also featured a hundred cubits of hangings, supported by twenty brass pillars with silver hooks and bands. The western side had fifty cubits of hangings, held by ten pillars with the same silver hooks and bands. On the eastern side, there were also fifty cubits of hangings. The gate's hangings on one side measured fifteen cubits, upheld by three pillars with three brass sockets. The other side of the gate had matching hangings and pillars. The entire courtyard's hangings were made of fine twined linen. The pillars' bases were brass, with silver hooks and silver-coated capitals. The gate's hanging was a work of needlecraft, combining blue, purple, scarlet, and fine twined linen. It was twenty cubits long and five cubits high, matching the other hangings. The gate's four pillars had brass bases, and their hooks were silver, while their capitals were overlaid with silver. All the tent and courtyard pegs were brass. This is the inventory of the tabernacle, the testimony, as appointed by Moses, executed by Ithamar. Aaron's son from the Levites. Bezalel, son of Uri and a member of the tribe of Judah, crafted everything according to the commands given by the Lord to Moses. He had a Aholiab from the tribe of Dan working alongside him. A Aholiab was skilled in engraving, craftsmanship, and embroidery in blue, purple, scarlet, and fine linen. The gold used in the holy place's construction, including offerings, totaled twenty-nine talents and seven hundred and thirty shekels, according to the sanctuary shekel. The congregation's silver amounted to a hundred talents and one thousand seven hundred and seventy-five shekels, using the sanctuary shekel. A becca, half a shekel, was contributed by each man twenty years and older, numbering six hundred and three thousand five hundred and fifty. The sockets of the sanctuary and the veil were made from the hundred talents of silver, a talent for each socket. For the pillars, hooks, and their capitals, 1,775 shekels of silver were used. The brass offering weighed 70 talents and 2,400 shekels. Using this brass, he made the sockets for the tabernacle's entrance, the brass altar, its brass grate, and all the altar's tools. He also fashioned the sockets for the courtyard and the courtyard gate as well as all the pegs for the tabernacle and the courtyard.